It's not a very intense competition when you consider people surrounding them. Rainies and Corleys, however, make a good team. They are one of the rare people who share any degree of affection and seem to enjoy each other's presence. Corley still backs Rainey's claim years after she was denied the Iron Throne because she wants to make things right and restore her dynasty to the throne. He does want to treat Rainey's correctly, even if this is a little self-serving. Additionally, he grants her more authority than other husbands. She participates in the conversations concerning the weddings of their children, and Corley hears her concerns about Lena's readiness even if it doesn't alter his intentions. He might have given the job to his brother Vaymond, Will Johnson, but he leaves her in charge when he departs to fight in the Stepstones. The union of Rainies and Corlys is comparable to the Starks in Game of Thrones. Initially, the political match, Ned, Sean Bean, and Caitlin, Michelle Fairley, fell in love. With no alarming age disparity and only one secret shared by them, this couple is unquestionably the greatest married couple in that series. Even yet, it's a significant secret to know Jon Snow's, Kit Harrington, parents. Additionally, they talk to each other simultaneously, which is unusual. Corlys and Rhaenys also made a nice pair. Although the Valerians are not dragon riders, the Targaryens and Valerians share a history of intermarriage and both have Valerian blood. Rhaenys' claim to the throne was bolstered by her marriage to a Valerian, particularly when they produced dragon rider offspring. They seem to be an age-appropriate marriage since they are played by actors who are just six years apart, in contrast to other couples in House of the Dragon. But they don't really look like this in Fire and Blood. 